I have a really cool lighting solution to share with you that I'm actually using right now. It's called the WeLight RB9. So let's open this up, take a look at it, and show you all the features that are involved in this. So I'll quickly turn off this light and we'll show you the difference. Okay, so here is the box right here called We Light. I wish I could tell you what some of these things are, but it's not written in English. So I'm not really sure what any of these things uh, mean. There is some pretty cool features to this thing and it does have a digital display and all. So uh, we'll get into that after we unbox this and take a look at what's inside the box. And so opening up the box, you see the light panel right there. And this is how thick it is. Open this up out of the packaging, and there it is, right there. So we'll put that for a side. We'll put that aside for a moment and see what else is in the box. There's a nice little pouch to carry it in, in there as well. Got your little instruction manual right here. We light. This looks like a registration, actually. This is your instruction manual right here. Let's see what we have in this little plastic package. Okay, so here we have a tripod stand, a little mini tripod stand. Goes completely flat. And then there's a quarter 20 on here that you can mount this little holder to here. Also, it has a little ratcheting extension thing right here to tie it in tighter. You have another adapter right here. You have a cold shoe mount adapter right here. And you have a micro USB cord. This little thing here is made out of rubber and the light should be able to fit in this nicely as well uh, to keep it safe while you're carrying it. So there are a number of different configurations in which you can use this light. You can put it on this little stand. Obviously it opens up wider to fit there. And then if you do that, you can adjust this accordingly. Upwards, back facing this way, or any angle in between there. Also has a quarter 20 right there. And it also has one at the bottom. So you can use it in a number of different configurations on different stands, so maybe you want to put it that way, maybe you want to put it that way. So now's the time to fully check this light out and show you some of the things it can do. So with this little cold shoe mount, you can put it on top of your phone, you can use it for vlogging in this kind of way. Uh, one thing I would say is that the light kind of moves around and it, it, if it goes all the way tight, it's a little bit off to the side, so it's not perfect as far as that would go. If I was facing this phone right to me, the light would be going that way. So uh, that's kind of maybe a little bit of an issue, but you know, just nitpicking there. So I'm going to go ahead and set this light up over here and show you the difference in how it lights, lights my face. Um, you'll see also that it can fold back and fold in a number of different ways. And as you can see, the light right there. So there's the video without the light to the side. There's the video with the light lighting up this side of my face and without it and then with it. Now I've shut off every other light in this room and I'm just using this light. So it's pretty much right in front of me. You can see the information up there as to where the light settings are. So from the side, from this side, the front of me, and this is only at about 20%, as you can see right there. So I can go a lot brighter with this just by adjusting this here. And you can see how much more significantly bright that is right now. And that's with the diffuser on as well. So again, right in front of me, a little bit up, but facing down. You can go over here, cast shadows. And as I said, it can be a fill light as well. Now I'm bouncing it off a white wall over there and toward me so you can see how that, how that lighting would be. 
You could also place the light behind you to get different colors and shades. So right now the only thing I have is my computer right in front of me and that light in the back with green. And now I put it on scene mode, which allows it to just automatically flow through the various colors that it has as options. So again, as a background light or for any other kind of, uh, you know, ambiance or kind of situation you want to create, you can do something like this in your background. You could also set it constantly to any one of these particular colors that you want. So you have that particular color scheme steady going and, and just staying that way. So all the different color temperatures, all kinds of colors. You can adjust the brightnesses on all the colors as well. And as you can see, this is what it would look like in your background if you pick any of those colors. I don't have any other lights in my room right now. It'd be pitch black other than my computer, which I'll just turn off right there. And that was the only light that was going on my face was my computer there. Um, so you, you obviously want to have a little bit of light other than just that in the background. Here I'll turn my side light on and you can see it lights up my face and then you can have colors in the background however you want that to be so um, there you go that's kinda what it looks like what do you think tell me in the comments below so thanks so much for checking out my video I hope this was helpful uh, there's also an app and I won't go into the app but I'll put the a link in the description below where you can find out more about it you can take a look at the product but the app allows you to dial it uh, whatever color you want through your phone. And on top of that, you can have multiple lights if you wanna buy a bunch of them and you can have different ones at different color temperatures, uh, different brightness levels and so on. So definitely versatile, definitely seems like something I think will be very interesting and I will definitely put to the test and use in a lot of my other videos. So hope this was helpful for you. If it was, give a thumbs up, consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.